This is Ru van Helden and this is Falk Maria from Powerwolf. And you are watching EMP. Hi everyone, it's Anna from EMP. I'm here at Download 2022 and I'm here with Powerwolf. Hi guys. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to be to here. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for your time. How are you doing? Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, just played a really cool show, so we're good, yeah. yeah. And it's not raining, that's the first for this festival, so you know, you're lucky. Oh, okay, I, it was quite windy yeah. and I'm expecting that because, I don't know, it's typical for download or for UK festivals that the fans are using a lot of flags. Yeah. And they even also uh, used a flag on the stage, it was so windy, it was really tough to hold them yeah. like yet. It's just like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but it's not rainy, that's... Yeah, I'm, I'm the guy who always checking the weather forecast and pray <laughs> to God. It, it only rains when I wear long trousers on stage. Is that yeah. Yeah, 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 I wore long pants one time yeah. in Finland at a festival and it rained. When I wear shorts, it doesn't rain. Okay, so... Um, so you need to check not only the forecast but what he's wearing to make sure that exactly, it, make exactly. sure he doesn't wear long sh like long trousers. Yeah. So, so next yeah. next week we're gonna play some other festivals, like the Grasper Festival. So please, we will yeah. take yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, don't take your shirt off. Yeah. Not shirt, shorts. <laughs> Definitely. I'll keep them on. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like you have so many like uh, tour dates coming up, and you're, you're supporting Kiss, and you're supporting uh, Iron Maiden yeah. for two dates as well. Um, so how does it, like, you know, what, what else should we expect and how does that feel? It feels great for us and I guess it feels also great for our fans because they are waiting so long. Yeah. Um, we did this monumental mass stream event in, in between to, to give our fans something back because, you know, we, we didn't want to, to let them to wait too long. Yeah. But I call this thing to do as a band is real life because you know we need this response from the audience and, and and you know it's like this thing that we want to entertain the audience but we also love then the audience entertains the band and you can only feel that in a real situation as we for example did today at the download festival so we're super happy to be honest super excited also nervous yeah. <laughs> after that break yeah. um yeah, coming and back I after, joy, yeah, after I a while. I enjoy every fucking single moment to be back, yeah. even the 20 hours drive to come here. It's worth <laughs> it, it's worth it. Uh, con concerning those, those shows we play with Iron Maiden, uh, for me it could be literally a dream coming true. Yeah. When I was 14 years old, I had a very um, lucid dream about meeting Iron Maiden on stage. Yeah. And I still remember that dream pretty well. Uh, we've played with Iron Maiden a couple of times on festivals and it, uh, so far never, the dream never came true. So maybe this time. Yeah. So yeah. If, if I can get... What does, can, what does it mean? You will, you will enter the stage with Iron Maiden playing their set? No, I, I, no, no, no. I dreamt they were on stage. No. And uh, maybe they were sound checking, I don't know. It's a long time ago, 14. And I just walked up stage and sh shook their hands. That was it. That was my dream. It was very, uh, very much a, li a lucid, yeah, 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 favorite yeah, yeah. dream. Yeah. Yeah. So who knows? Amazing, huh? yeah. Maybe literally a yeah. dream coming true. Yeah. Yeah. But that's amazing. Yeah, they played here yes yesterday, and like, you know, it was an amazing set. Yeah. Um, so what's on your headphones? Like, what kind of songs are you listening to? Any new artists that you were like checking out recently? Like, what do you do? You listen to on a day to day? A lot of music, but um, first? I am a big fan of Steel Panther. Yeah, those guy, guys are amazing. Also, off stage, yeah. I had a good chat with them uh, this afternoon. But unfortunately, we are leaving because we have a ferry to catch yeah. before they will be playing. Oh, so no. I don't get to see them today. Um, it's a bummer. Yeah, <laughs> that's annoying. Yeah. 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 I, I, I discovered a, not a quite a new band, uh, but I am also a fan of Mastodon. They also played here, or, or, or uh, yeah, they did. Yeah. Um, because it's a mixture of heavy metal, stone or yeah. what, little bit depressive moments, and I like this this approach. Yeah. Um, and I'm I always happy to find new music, new songs, because of course I'm an Iron Maiden fan since years. Yeah. But it's always good to to catch some. Some other Different songs and, like, and, yeah, and to, yeah. to have some inspirations, perhaps I don't know. 
you don't know it. Is it inspiration? You you recognize that after when you wrote a new song, then oh, could be, could be here and there the inspiration from come from. So that's it. Definitely. And what would you say is your favorite way to pass time between shows, like when you're on tour? Like, do you guys uh, play video games together? Do you binge watch TV series together? Like, what do you do? Not video games, to no. be honest. Not not video games on the tour bus. We. Um, you like to have a drink, right? <laughs> <laughs> Something red, things, red rum or whiskey. The thing is. Uh, there is some something we we like to do in the tour bus. I call it Radio Bucharesti. Mm -hmm. That's I'm the radio moder whatever guy, moderator. because we had a moderator. We had a long drive drive to Bucharest sometimes, and I did this radio show. Yeah. And when you're in a good mood, l like yeah, last night, DJ. I'm the DJ, and we're dancing and playing air drums, and yeah. um, someone is annoying about or complaining about. The volume. <laughs> and you put it know. even up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's it's this party life I really like to have on the bus. And yeah. um, sounds yeah. fun. Yeah. That really sounds fun, and we do like to do that. Yeah. But after the show, we I wouldn't say we are exhausted, but we we are so happy and full adrenaline. It's more like yeah, like after the rush from the stage, yeah, you get like yeah, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Back to you. Anything to Thank add? You. Anything to add? No, I still would like to know who said that it was too loud. <laughs> Who's <time>. complaining <laughs> about the volume? <laughs> One time. No, 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 no. Let me let me explain. I'm from Holland. The rest of the guys are from Germany. And sometimes, just once every two years, the the Dutch diva comes out, and it mostly has to do with me not being able to sleep if other people are too loud so yeah. <laughs> my fault, my fault. I <laughs> yeah. oh, no, it's, it's no problem no problem but now it's official yeah <laughs> so yeah once in a while like you know you have your moment in in once like, every yeah. two years yeah it's not that bad yeah i feel like that's okay yeah. <laughs> i get cranky if i don't sleep so i would i understand yeah, yeah. it's very important yeah definitely and if you could sit down for a, a cup of coffee chatting with a character from a movie, a book or a TV series, just having a nice conversation, who would it be and why? Um, for me, it's Bob Odenkirk from Better Call Saul or... or uh, um, I love that series. Um, what's the other series called? Uh, 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 Breaking, Breaking Bad, Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this character is so different in many ways. And if you, I'm a huge fan of this series because it's so detailed and everything. And I would like to, because he's also the producer of the series, I would really like to chat with him and ask, what are your thoughts? What are your, what comes you to your mind? Why are you so mean to this one guy, this lawyer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it so important to destroy this guy? And why? <laughs> and not the typical Hollywood hero. Yeah. And I like this, this persons or characters which are not quite typical which develops over a series or a movie and that's Bob Odenkirk called Better Call Saul or Saul Goodman whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. so good <laughs> now um, another TV character but I would just sit down with Nico McBrain talk about drums yeah. for the rest of the day <laughs> for the rest of your life <laughs> <laughs> no not life I wouldn't bother him that much <laughs> yeah that's what I would do yeah, yeah. Nice one. And what would you say are your top three favorite movies of all time? Oh, good question. Um, um, it's hard, right? <laughs> Evil Dead. Brain Dead. <laughs> and maybe something else with Dead. With I don't Dead. Know. <laughs> I like uh, which was Limitless is it called? I think that was yeah, a the one with the pill that like, yeah. Yeah, that was a cool, brain, yeah. cool concept for a movie. And I like cheap, uh, over-the-top comedy horror movies. So, uh. so for me, it's um, it's Quentin Tarantino movies, almost all of them, yeah. almost not not every movie, but Once Upon a Time is a great one, and uh, Pulp Fiction as well. But um, this director is so crazy. Like he reminds me a little bit as I am on stage, for example. So uh, he does something what no one else would do. So I, I would mention Quentin Tarantino movies, yeah. and there are a lot of more than three. So then, yeah. yeah. 
Django Unchained. That's a great one. <laughs> all of the, any Tarantino movie, like exactly. really, like they're all so great. <laughs> there was one movie in, 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 but no, I can't remember the name. It's quite a long story. That's a little bit kind of boring. Okay. But it's, you know, yeah. one movie is not that much, not that favorite for me. But yeah. all right. Well, yeah, guys, thank you so much for your time. It was lovely talking to you. Yeah, Can that you was just fun. leave us? Thank you. Can you just leave us with a message for your UK and European fans? Hey out there, believers, <laughs> join our Metal Mass in London at the Roundhouse and we will come back very soon. Enjoy the Metal Mass, have a drink with us and take care. You've said it all, I have nothing to add. Alright. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so much guys, this is great. Thank you. Thank you.